that's Vigo. <laughs> Mr. Vigo. Uh, Vigs. Please. Would you look this way, please? No, don't, no. All right, thank you. You know what? Give me angry. Will you, will you give me angry if you've had a bad day? You're cranky? Yeah, thank you. The girls like you, huh? Huh? The girls? To the guys? Just drive me! Just drive me now! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! We need to talk. Come on. I've worked with better, but not many. The Plobel Brooks Very Wide is a very rare camera. You can find it online for around $2,000. I asked around and no one seems to have one. But the camera rescue team had a solution for me. They didn't have the Very Wide in stock, but they had just the next version of the same camera. The Plobel 6x9 Pro Shift is the direct child of the Very Wide and it has the exact same lens, so it will give us the same final results. I'm afraid of no ghost. You have to wind up the film lever two times to take just one photo. There's no rangefinder and there's no ground glass, so you can only focus by guessing the right distance. If you want to shift or write the image, you can unlock the lens board and move it by hand. What I like about this camera is that it's almost impossible to totally miss your shot. Because of the aperture and the wide-angle lens, you are almost sure to be kinda sharp. But if you come too close to a subject, then it will be more difficult to be sure everything is in focus. Now, let's see if using this kind of camera makes sense in the movie. At first, I was thinking the camera was used in the movie as a prop, mainly because of its weird aspect. Ghostbusters uses all kind of strange gadgets and crazy looking technologies, so their camera should look weird too. But now that I use the camera, I realize that the prop department of the movie really knew what they were doing. What better way to shoot the massive portrait of Vigo than to use a medium format wide angle camera? It was a great way to get the full painting in one frame and at the same time get the option to zoom inside his evil eyes. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you want me to review more cameras seen in famous movies. 